Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through how to work with drawing boxes or text boxes. First thing you need to know is how do you add one of those for yourself, of course. Go to the Insert tab, and here you have a button with all the different shapes. And the first shape there is the text box, which is pre-configured for typing. So if I just add that there and draw it out and just start typing, that's a text box. And then, you of course, need to change the format of that to make it look just as pretty as these two to the left here. I'm not a designer, but I want to show you the tools that you need to find and use. First of all, I'm going to change the font. And as you see, these are two are using the Cambria font, so I'm going to change that. Just make sure that you select the entire text box, not a word inside the text box. Um, because you want everything in the text box to have the same font, of course. So I'm going to change that to Cambria there. Same with that cam text box there, Cambria. And then we're going to check these are size 12, size 12, both of them. So let's just go ahead again, select the entire text box, and up the font a bit there. Now we have them to size 12. Again, I select the entire text box and make sure that that is 12. Now here we go. Then you might want to change the alignment and as you see this has a vertical and a horizontal alignment now so if I simply select the text box again and put the vertical and the horizontal into the center that will give me the text in the middle of the text box and when it comes to the color I can just change that here too this should be a white and that makes it hard to read now that's fine this one should be blue so let's put that in there I think it's that blue, almost. And both of these should now be bold and italic, I think. Bold and italic, I think. And now the background color of these things, I'm gonna go in here to format, and there we have the shape fill, and there are all the colors. And more fill colors, a bunch of these, and I think I used this one for the background, close enough. And this one, shape fill, more fill colors, and this is the background color used there. So the next step is to make this, both of them should have a shadow, and then this one should have rounded corners. So let's go ahead and change that. So let's do in the shadows first, and this is the outer and offset and diagonal there. And there you have a small shadow thing you want to change there now if you go into shape effects here shape effects there we go the shadow and here are shadow options and you can go into more of these and now you see this is a it's a black shadow but it has a transparency of 60 percent so if you want to remove get the same nice black shadow like i have there that's um just removing the transparency and same thing with this. Now I don't have a shadow here. Let's select the shadow, this one, the outer there. And a no transparency on that. So the only thing remaining now is the rounded corners of um, this box here. And as usual, there are several ways of doing that, but one of the ways is to actually go in and edit the shape. And you can change the shape and you can change it to some the, something that already has rounded corners like the second rectangle there so now there we have a text box with rounded corners and there, as you might see there are some minor tweaking we can do here but i've shown you the main tools and i hope you can take it from there thank you for watching